Hello, uh, this is JJ uh, from 22 Explosive Hits. Um, I'm This is my contest entry for Nick Rudow. I uh, just wanted to go over my albums with you. So first uh, one up for grabs is the reggae album. And the closest that I have in my collection, I wanted to stick with the K-Tel, is off the album, K-Tel album called Dancing Madness. And this is from 1983. And there's a couple good uh, reggae tunes on here that were kind of popular little hits in the 80s. One is Pass the Ducci by Musical Youth. They were uh, a band, I believe they were from somewhere in Jamaica or that area, the West Indies. And they had that, you know, Pass the Ducci on the left hand side. Also off this album as well is um, Electric Avenue uh, by Eddie Grant, who that definitely uh, was, he was from Jamaica. And he recorded a lot. Of, he, I also have another one soundtrack of his as well. That's um, Jewel Denial. He actually recorded um, one as well for or no, actually Romancing the Stone. Sorry, I was saying the the sequel, Romancing the Stone. He recorded the theme song for that. So there's my entry for. You know, I'm stretching a bit, but I don't have a lot of reggae, so I just thought I would uh, go with that one. For the next one, uh, you have out there uh, Stoner Rock. Uh, this is a jam, kind of a jam band as well, but I only have them on CD. I don't really know if they have many vinyl out there. I'd have to look on Discogs. But this is um, out there. It's called Acoustic Hookah. Uh, probably see it on the Acoustic Hookah. They're a band out of Ohio. Uh, one of my favorite tunes by Acoustic Hookah is um, what's it? it's Ohio Grown. Um, Brighter Days, Harmonic, they have a great guitar, jam band. I saw them, I really got into them when they opened for Rat Dog about 15 years ago at the Oprium Theater in Madison. Uh, they are an awesome band. They really are homegrown Ohio. They own, They weren't releasing, they were doing their own releases of their own albums, relying purely online to promote themselves and not go, going with any major label. Uh, but again, the band is called the Kusa Kuka, and I would rate them as the, as the kind of the stoner rock uh, jam band. Uh, they're just all around um, great group, and Bob Weir does, has done a lot over the years to promote them from the Grateful Dead. Uh, for trippy album covers, I'm going to pick the KTEL album Today's Super Greats. If you want to look at that one, pretty trippy, I would say. This album's from 1974, kind of trippy both on the outside and the inside. Um, some of the stuff on this one, though, are just actually a lot of classic hits that were out at that time. Candyman by Sammy Davis Jr. Sweet Mary by Wadsworth Mansion. Um, this one also, uh, Don't Pull Your Love is on this one as well. And Layla by uh, Eric Clapton on this one. Uh, a lot of, but the Eric Clapton Layla is really short. It doesn't have the full version with the piano. But this would be my pick for Trippy. It's a part one and a part two. I guess I could, uh. I could have shown both, but there's the first one. Save the other one for another video. Um, so, album that mellows me out. I would have to go with... Well, there's, I have a lot of these. They're really cheesy, but they're awesome. They do mellow me out. Is Today's Love Hits, all originals. Uh, this one actually has, uh, if you can see, that has the original... Someone got it at Kroger uh, grocery stores. Yeah, the, yeah, these were sold in... Grocery stores, department stores, these, a lot of these were not even sold in record stores as well. Uh, has Reunited by Peaches and Herb. Um, I Just Fell in Love by Anne Murray. Uh, we're All Alone by Rita Coolidge. Uh, Love is the Answer by um, England Dan and John Ford Cooley. Um, I've always mentioned that they're a common theme on every record that I have. So uh, just about in every video, I think I'll be mentioning England Dan and John Ford Cooley because they're on every record and this one is uh, Love is the Answer. On the back here, uh, Ambrosia is on this record as well and if you can see here they're promoting, uh, if you can see it closer, if you zoom in you could probably see it better but they're promoting Ambrosia's record on this one as well. This record was, uh, it's a US release from 1979. And for um, Jam Band, I have to pick K-Tel's um, Allman Brothers release of, on K-Tel. I'm impressed because the Allman Brothers stuck to their own. It looks like it, when I listen to the record, they have only nine hits, which for a record released in 1974 by the Allman Brothers, pretty rare um, for the K-Tel side, I mean, because K-Tel in 1974 was cramming 
because this one was from the same year, and this one has uh, 14 hits on it versus just nine. And on this one is uh, Morning Dew, God Rest His Soul, Nobody Knows You When You're Out, Down and Out, Come Down and Get Me, Melissa, great tune. I love uh, I love the Allen Brothers. I've seen them many, many, many times. Um, I'll Change For You, Back Down, Home With You, uh, Well I Know You Too Well, and In The Morning When I'm Real. All on this one, 1974 release. Um, in a way, too, this one actually might qualify for a trippy album cover as well so I thought I would enter this one and my last but not least is the pothead record which is my dr. Dre I like dr. Dre I like his mixes I've always, I'm in the rap hip-hop um, already we're getting into it here but can't get much more pothead than that being on the cover and that's pretty much what the chronic is um, to give you an idea there's Snoop Dogg on here uh, this was produced by Shug Knight. This is one of his releases he did with him. Um, and to give you an idea, I was like, where do I find a pothead? And it was kind of funny, Nick, because I was looking at this record. It was like moving on my turntable as I was thinking, what should I play for you? And <laughs> right there, you know, can't get any more pothead than that. With having Snoop Dogg wrap it on your record and have the Leafs right here. I don't know what more is more pothead than that i know maybe more in the rock but this is um, my favorite one is on here is let me ride um go down to the candy store and let me ride i know there's an original hit by it I, i've hummed this one before but he he sampled it really well i thought and uh him and um uh snoop dogg really did a good uh um collaboration on this on this record as they did on many of dr dre's releases but this one is classic one of my favorites and I, did, I got it uh, from in 180 gram uh, new release uh, reissue. So those are my entries into your contest. I appreciate you letting me join. And um, I hope you uh, have a wonderful day. Take care, Nick.